Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring and welcome inside your 30-day dental hygiene board exam review prep. Okay, hello, you must be so excited and probably nervous to take the board exam soon, right? But let me walk you through everything to make things as not as stressful as you're probably thinking it should be, okay? Because yes, you are probably nervous. This is very intense. But if you go through everything in this course, you will pass your exam, okay? So the main thing to remember is just go through everything. You don't have to read every topic in a day, in two days. Yes, you have 30 days to go through everything. So as I kind of look through here, you guys have all of these topics to go through and you can do it all in 30 days so everything you will have access to right away um, when I first developed the course um, a week's material would be released at a time but I have since changed that to make it easier for everybody so that you will get everything right away but as I said before I don't want you guys to think you have to go through every single topic in a day or in two days. As you guys can see, some topics are longer, some topics have more material, and some are quite short. Like take oral pathology. Oral pathology, there's a quiz, there's um, nutrition questions, there's materials. But these are the main things that you have to know for the board exam, okay? Um, pharmacology will is a topic that will take you a lot longer than probably dental materials because you need to know more of that and there's more to look through. But a good rule of thumb is take um, two hours minimum a day to study and, and, and upwards to six hours. If you're not able to study every day because you work full time, then obviously these topics will take you longer to go through and that is okay. There is nothing wrong with that. But if it's taking you six months, let's say to, to study all of this, that is okay too. But then you know, you might need a little bit more than that. So this is specific to those of you who don't have a lot of time to study for the exam. You might have 30 days left, you might have two months left, but you wanna know that you're on the right track, right? So this course is perfect. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And a good rule of thumb also is to read through everything first. So let's take week one as an example, okay? Where is week one? Here we go. Um, wait, did I miss, uh, okay, no, sorry. I was just double checking here. Um, but yes, week one, um, it might take you longer to study week one because you're just sort of learning how to go through everything. And I suggest studying all of the, um, all of the materials, watching all of the videos first, and then doing the mock exam questions after that. The nice thing about these mock exam quizzes are it actually tracks how, how you do. I like to say a 70% average means you're, you're, you're on, um, you're doing things well and you're at a good start. But if you have, let's say, 50 or 60%, that's not a bad thing, but that just means that you have to go through everything once again because you're, you're missing a lot of it that you do have to know for the board exam. So on the quizzes, I don't expect you to get 100% because these are hard and they're meant to be hard, they're meant to be tricky, they're meant to really know what you have to go through further. But try to get at least a 70% until you're at that point. It just means that you have to go through the study materials a little bit more until you get to that point. So um, good luck. Let me know though if you have any questions. You can, you, you can always go through the quizzes first if you want to and then study the materials after that. But I do suggest studying the materials first and then going through the quizzes because in my experience if you go through the quizzes first and you do not do well then you get um, you get a little bit discouraged and you might not want to even study that day or the day after that because you might just feel like you're not doing well at all. But keep in mind, these things take time. Do not expect to know everything right away, okay? But I am, I am always here to help. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And um, good luck. Make sure, try to study every day at least two hours to a maximum of six hours every day. Okay, so good luck. Let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you um, pretty soon, actually. Talk to you soon.